Stories of the Infinite Guess is a collection of first-hand accounts made by participants of the Infinite Guess or interviews with individuals who have been doing this work ongoing. I am so excited to walk back through the memoirs of the Infinite Yes here with all of you. Thank you for joining us. Hi, I'm Sydney. These are stories of the Infinite Yes. Today we have a friend of mine, a sister, a ceremonial artist, a beautiful healer I've known for a really long time. I'm really happy that you could be here with us today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I um, I remember my first journey with you and the Infinite Yes. It's super special to me because Sarah was at a wedding of someone who was at my very first journey. And that journey was for a group of men who were learning to open their hearts together and that man ended up marrying a friend of ours. Sarah officiated and had her first infinite yes journey. If you want to just say a couple words about that journey, Sarah, that would be so fun. Yeah, that, that journey was such um, a deep turning point in my life. Uh, there was so much. I had just become a single mother. Um, you were, Sydney was actually one of the people and you were one of the people in the community that I looked to when I was making the choice to become a single mother. And we, he was about a year and a half years old when we came down and I had, his father was supposed to be there and I had childcare fall out last minute. And this community circled around me so that I could take this time for myself and participate in this journey. So the community had really come together for me to be able to even be able to participate with you. And it was the first I had moved away. So this was the first time I was getting the opportunity to journey with you and the infinite. Yes. And it was really like this huge breath of fresh air because I'd been on full time, 24 seven caring for another being. And this was the first moment that I had to myself, to honor myself, to receive from the community, from you, from the team. Zaz was facilitating with you. And I remember at one point I was getting all this love and really starting to remember how to relax in my body and receive after all this giving. And I heard Elliot cry and I went to like leap up from this position of getting a massage from a sister that we had and I was held down literally while Nicole and some other members of the community that were there looked over at me and were basically like, stay while Zaz, who was co-facilitating with you at the time, went over and started playing him the guitar. So he, for hours, was captivated with Zaz and I was told to, you know, stay and continue to receive, which was just a, such a big deal for anybody you know, who has a toddler and has been full time with a baby for a year and a half. This is like oxygen. It's like breathing for the first time. It's remembering yourself and, you know, some moment of peace that I hadn't had in so long. So it was definitely really significant. And I just want to tell all of our listeners, I was so happy when I got a phone call just a little while after that from Sarah. And she asked me, if she could assist me and learn from me. And of course that was such an honor. Yeah. I, um, was, you know, sitting with the question and I've had a calling for a long time and you were the first person I saw in this work. Um, I had other opportunities to work with other spiritual teachers and it wasn't a full yes. And it was just being your friend and witnessing you in the space and your humility and your, realness in how you hold this work was inspiring to me. And I wanted to, you know, assist you and be in service to this work at your side and learn from you. And that was, you know, a really beautiful thing that felt like it was divinely orchestrated. And I called you up asking if there was any opportunity to come assist you and be a student of yours um, in this work. And you had an event, you had a training literally the next week. It was over Thanksgiving. And I said to you, and you said, if you want to come and cook, you can come and be a part of this training, which was such a generous offer, you know, to me as a single mom to help me start. I really love rehearing the story. It touches me so deeply. And I just remember how powerful that group was that weekend. And 
how we all learn so much from what showed up in the medicine with us. And you know, it was always just such a fun delight to have you and your energy and space. Yeah, I that again was another big deal. It was my first, you know, training event with the Infinite Yes and working with you. I'll never forget the moment when I came back after that four days of taking care of myself and learning and nurturing this part of myself and nurturing the community that we did together. And when I walked back in the room with Elliot after not seeing him for three, four nights in a row, which was huge. It was the first time. And I walked back in and I looked right at him and Elliot was two and a half, three years old. He he was super young. He looked right at me dead in the eyes, crystal clear statement. He says, mom, mama, I need to talk to you about the day I was born. And I really feel like some of the work that I did on myself really opened up this conversation with my child where he needed to talk about the day he was born with me. And we had this whole, it's like this medicine space, this transformative space came with me home as a mother. And Elliot wide eyed was like, oh, mama, I need to talk to you about the day I was born. And we had this really deep conversation about what it means to be born. And he was concerned that he hurt me and all of these things that he wanted to talk about. And I've never celebrated being a mother quite so much as on the other side of this meaningful work that we've gotten to do together. I just really, like I said, just feel so grateful. This is actually my first podcast and all of the people who have worked with me through time and who continue to work with me have really asked to hear more from me about my work. And this is just such a beautiful experience to sit with you and hear about what it was for you to be with me. I still, to this day, some of my highlight memories in magical healing journey space were in Sayulita. I remember praying and singing to the ocean and singing songs and being asked to learn songs in Spanish. And it really began a big part of how I work with the medicine now And I remember just the most magical moment I had asked for there to be, I had called to the ocean for whales. I had called to the ocean for more bioluminescence because there was just this tiny hint of sparkle in my toes. And I was like, ooh, more. I was asking for the ocean to bring more light and to bring the whales. And at the end of the first journey, as many of us were starting to head to bed, the ocean was pitch black out in the vast expanse that we were looking out into, feeling so full and grateful from the night we'd spent together. And in the ocean were these three bioluminescent whales, two adults and a baby whale. And we could only see them in the black of the ocean because of this bioluminescence trailing um, in their shape. It was one of the most magical experiences. And I truly felt like the souls gathered there and you and I, and this opportunity to be on the sacred land was just one of the most beautiful gifts I've ever had. And yeah, that was just, and and then right when we got back, we both got sick on that trip. And that was the very beginning of COVID and life changed forever at that point for a lot of us. At some point in the middle of the pandemic, Sarah came and became my assistant and apprentice with me. It was so much fun and so much beauty. I especially love working with women with Sarah. She really brings so much to this work and I just really want to bless your path forward and thank you for sharing a little bit with our listeners. Yeah. I also want to express my deep gratitude. It was you that I came to in the, in the confusion and the high intensity choice of becoming a mother. And you were one of the mothers and the wild medicine women in the community that I admired so much that I felt trust in to come and make this, you know, critical life changing decision for myself. And it has been a journey. And I'm sure we'll get to talk more about our stories and our tales, Um, the journey into the infinite yes and the tales of the modern medicine woman. Thank you, Cindy. I love you so much. I love you too. Thank you, Sarah.